better late than never. Welcome. It's favorite. Fucking Anton Lander. I like really like the back milk. Bag milk. There's no time to waste. It's Derek Ryan Extension Day. Let's go to it with a bonus episode of Better Late Than Never. Little emergency episode of Better Late Than Never today brought to you by Trilogy Oilfield Rentals. Of course, Trilogy Oilfield Rentals are an established provider of tools and expertise across multiple oil field disciplines specializing in rentals, pipe recovery, abandonments, and completions. Currently, they maintain full-time operating units in Provost, Weyburn, and Kindersley. I also want to give a quick shout out to... Uh, the fine folks at the audio department was, I was having a little bit of issues with my, with my audio here on last week's I, episode. Uh, oh yes. I actually, I remember I, I listened to the episode. I was like, Whoa, what was that? So, but I got some help. It's good. I got some help from the fine folks at the audio department. So I just wanted to say thank you for that. So uh, that Danny danger on Instagram, that Danny danger on Instagram, he's the one that gave me all the help I needed. I'm going to sort out some of those issues was as soon as we're done recording this little quick emergency episode of better late than never. I will tackle some of that stuff. Big news today. Well, any news is big news right now. My boy, you others just announced that they signed Derek Ryan to a two year oh. contract extension that carries an annual average value of $900,000. So I figured why not invite Waz on the podcast? He is the biggest Derek Ryan fan I know. So just before we get into your feedback and what it means for the cap and all that boring shit, I'm just uh, curious to know what you think about the signing pal. I'm very excited to have him back. Uh, Like I think it's been stated before, he's the type of player that does nothing wrong. Uh, He's a wholesome guy. He's just, I don't know. I I view him as like the, the, the king of the fourth line. Like, I don't remember the last time an Oilers forward has scored 13 goals, especially in the bottom six like he has. And I, I don't know. It's just it's if he's a feel good character. He is a feel good character. And you, I think you mentioned a big part of Derek Ryan's story for me, at least, is that the guy doesn't make mistakes when he's out there. He'll give you 10, 12 minutes of just steady, yeah. quiet hockey. And then he can chip in with a little bit of goals here and there. He had 13 this past season with the Oilers. Took a little bit of a haircut, was to come back on a two-year deal. He was making $1.25 million last year. Comes in at 900000 on the two-year deal. What do you think about Derek Ryan? He's just, I think he probably could have got more on a one-year deal, but he takes less to come back with the two-year deal with the Oilers. I was kind of surprised to him see him get a two year deal in general. I thought he was going to get a one year contract and possibly retire at the end of this year, but looks like he still feels like he's got some legs underneath him and kind of shows says a lot about him. He wants to stay in Edmonton, Alberta. I think his family's from here as well. I think he played for the Golden Bears, so I think he just wanted to be close to home and you know potentially finish his career with the Oilers. The interesting thing about his career was, as you mentioned, his time with the Golden Bears, he played one, two, three, four years with the Golden Bears. He kind of went all over the place. He was with the Spokane Chiefs, then the Golden Bears, and then he popped over to Austria for three years. He played a year in the uh, Swedish Elite League and then the AHL before finally cracking the NHL in 2015-16 with Carolina Hurricanes as a 30-year-old. So I think the thing I like about him, too, is you know when you break the show that late, you kind of appreciate everything mm-hmm. you got, don't you think? Yeah, one hundred percent. Is he? Is he from? Oh, he's he, he's from the states. Oh, I thought he was. Yeah. from Edmund. I thought he was from Alberta. <laughs> no, I think that. <laughs> I think a lot of people think that just because he played for the U of A and yeah. Calgary and now Edmonton. Okay. But no, he is a. Uh, he is not. Wow. All right. Uh, well, I've known. I mean, his journey to the NHL and his rise through like hockey is actually a fantastic story. It's really inspirational and says like, even if you're in your late twenties, you can still make the show. It just takes a little bit of hard work. And I think that's what he kind of had to do was kind of stop, make his, you know, he didn't have to become a flashy player, a more skilled player. He just had to become more serviceable, a utility player, a player you can put on the PK, just get the job done, uh, a player that the coach can trust. And I think that, that speaks a lot of volume to who he is as a player. We kind of heard a little bit, and I got a quote here from back in May when he was on Stoffer's show. We kind of heard a little bit, Tom Gazzola mentioned it, that Ryan was going to be signing or could be re-signing with the Oilers. You're the only person I know that has a Derek Ryan jersey. Did that just kind of have you excited, the idea of your boy coming back? Like, it's not often you buy a Derek Ryan jersey, but you did right at the end of the year. Yeah, it was uh, it was exciting. I, I had a feeling he would come back just because... 
why would the Oilers give up a player like this, especially in your bottom six? Like, he's not going to be commanding a massive salary. He's not going to be asking for a ton of money. He can score goals, like we mentioned. He got 13 this year. He even scored a hat trick last year against the Florida Panthers when they were the best team in the league. Like, who could have expected that? Like, this guy just, he can score goals. He can be on the uh, special teams. Um, I'm, it's awesome. It's just, I, I, li- I like rooting for players in the bottom six for a reason. You know, everyone has their Leons, their McDavid's, uh, I mean, even Nugent Hopkins. But, like, there's something about rooting for, like, an underdog uh, that I enjoy. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. And especially in this city, when you've got a guy kind of like Derek Ryan, who he just gives you steady minutes. We talked about it earlier. He's quiet. He goes out there. He's on the PK. He does kind of anything the coach asks him, including playing few minutes if need be. So I, I agree with you, Waz. We love cheering for an underdog. And yeah. this new year, co- this new two-year contract, if he, assuming he finishes it out in, in, in Edmonton here, Waz, Edmonton will be the team he played for the most in his career. Back in May, he was on Stoffer's show and he was kind of talking about why he chose Edmonton in 2021 as a free agent, left Calgary. We know that. And this kind of what this is what he said. I had that conversation with my agent, with my dad, my wife, my kids, with everybody close to me in my life about how that was a hard decision. I had the same contract offer to stay in Calgary, but I chose to come to Edmonton. That's never an easy choice, but I couldn't be happier with my choice to be here. I'd love to finish my career as an Edmonton Oiler. I find it interesting. You got the same contract offer from the Flames. and He's just like, nah. Going to Edmonton, playing with Connor and Leon. Why not? I don't play. Uh, yeah, I question if maybe like his time with the Golden Bears kind of swayed that decision a bit. Like that you just had a more of a positive experience in Edmonton rather than Calgary. And I I mean, I don't blame him. It's always a better experience in Edmonton. Like, sure, you got the mountains in Calgary beside you, but that's about it. Nobody wants to play in the Saddle Dome, right? No, not exactly. It's gonna collapse on you. There's maybe a high chance. His last season in Calgary, like you mentioned, was a, was a tough one for Derek Ryan. He only played uh 43 games that year. Two goals, 11 assists. First year at Edmonton, 2021-22. Finished 75 games, 10 goals, 12 assists, 22 points. Last year, up to the goal total with 13, seven assists for 20 points through 80 games. Uh, added another goal and two assists in 11 playoff games. All in all, it's a good day for Derek Ryan fans. Are you wearing your jersey right now? Yeah, I am, yeah. I'm, I'm sweating underneath it considering how hot it is in Edmonton. But yeah, it is very might good. as well. I got a reason to bust it out, especially on the day where uh, the Golden Knights might raise the Stanley Cup, and I think this is a more important storyline. It is a much more important storyline. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad that the Oilers did not wait for the Stanley Cup Finals to be over to break this news. This is a very big day in Edmonton. It's a very big day for Waz. Let's get to some feedback, pal. You said you've got some stuff on Instagram. I asked on Twitter just kind of what people's thoughts were on the Derek Ryan two-year extension. I was a little bit surprised that they gave him a second year, but ultimately I think that's probably part of the reason that he came down by 325000 on his annual value. Uh, Adam says, great move, very helpful player on and off the ice. Rick Foon says, contract could be buried in the second year if necessary, so the only risk is on Daryl Cates' pocketbook. Brad says, uh, probably could have gotten a year deal worth more than he's currently getting. So the Oilers gave him a second year to make up for it. It's relatively low risk given his value. Um, Brandon says, if the second year meant the AAV goes down, then I'm fine with it. The contract can be fully sent to the AHL with no cap repercussions in either year if his performance falls off. Seems like a fine trade-off to me. Riley says, you know, a lot of people are saying you can just go and find more Derek Ryan's was, but can you? No. How long did it take for this team to get good bottom six? If two years is what it takes to get the guy on the team for less than one million, I'm in. Jay says it's a great deal. Loved Ryan's hustle on the ice. Solid locker room presence as well. Mike, the destroyer of tacos, says the second year brought the AAV down. Could have got more from another team, but took $350,000 haircut. Had a good season and excellent playoffs. Wanted to be here. Good for both sides. What do you got on Instagram, boss? Um, outstanding, great resigning. Would have been a huge loss if DR had moved on to another team. Huge W. Nobody hates this guy. Massive W. Absolute win. Every or this fan in, in general, like like I said, like we said, you can't say a bad thing about him. I'm not saying a bad comment about this deal about Derek Ryan. It's just it's it's just a sweet deal. If you want a little bit more information on Derek Ryan, and you're listening to this, you go, I want more Derek Ryan info. Our boy Coomsey. Uh, three days ago, actually, wrote Derek Ryan. Will he be back with the Edmonton Oilers or gone for the 2023-24 season? We now know the answer. But if you want a little bit of a history on Derek Ryan, uh, Cam runs through his career, including being Edmonton's nomination for the Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy. 
Um, lots to like about the player. He plays quiet, like Waz said. Lots to like. Looking at the cap situation, though, Waz, we know the Oilers are up against it. We still don't know what the cap is going to be for next year, but according as of today, June thirteenth, two fifty p.m. Mountain Standard Time, the Oilers currently have a five million and seventy thousand dollars remaining under the cap. So that makes it, it's important that Derek Ryan took the haircut, and I think that's where that second year the second year on the deal comes from. Yeah, and I think especially like at his age, he cares more about potentially winning a Stanley Cup, and which oh, the Oilers sure. do, do have that. It's like. You'd rather take a pay cut and win the Stanley Cup and, you know, retire with a team that you've really enjoyed playing with, where the fans love you, um, the city's treated him well. And also, the cool thing with Derek Ryan, I noticed, was he announced it on his social media before the Oilers did. Yeah, I saw that too. He, he like, just inked the contract. I'm going to now, like, post some fantastic photos of Derek Ryan, which I'll use from a wallpaper. So... If you want to see a bunch of those photos, uh, just in general graphics about Derek Ryan, make sure to check out the Oilers Nation Instagram. Waz is going to yes. be very busy. But as you mentioned, Derek Ryan did post it on Instagram. Derek Ryan 86 is his username, says, My family and I are super excited that we'll be staying in Edmonton for the next two seasons. We love it here, and we're excited about what the future holds for us in oil country. Uh, flipping through the comments here, Leon Dreisaitl, one of the yes. first ones in. Uh, he said something in German. It just says one, two, three flex. I did the translation was, I assume that Mark Zuckerberg is correct. <laughs> there's you, there's was run it back. DR he's in there. A lot of people happy for Derek Ryan in the comment section. Um, what, What's another thing to note about Derek Ryan? He's a great mentor for uh, Ryan sure. McLeod and the, the young players. I know, I think McLeod even spoke about playing a, alongside him and how much uh, just like I said, a mentor he's been for him. And also Derek Ryan is very intelligent player as well he is yeah and he knows how to speak his mind i remember that um, a couple weeks or maybe a week after dave tippett got fired he kind of low-key roasted him saying how yeah he did under tippett it's like there wasn't a lot of communication structure you could tell things were a bit off and um you haven't really heard much of that since uh, jay woodcock's taken over and i think uh jay also loves a player like Derek ryan in his bottom six that's a good poll was I completely forgot about that, but to like paraphrase, it was something like, it's nice to know what your role is and be able to contribute. Blah, yes. blah, blah. It was, yeah. It was a very interesting quote from a veteran player after a guy gets gas. So that was a good poll was I forgot about that. Derek Ryan. It's not afraid to speak his mind. Anything else you would like to say about Derek Ryan? Was um, before we wrap up the emergency episode of better late than never. I think he's got one of the interesting nicknames. That's not really spoken on social media. The storm and Mormon. I did. I did not know that. <laughs> Somebody commented on our Instagram, and I'm like, "Whoa, that's a great nickname." I don't know if I'm going to use that a ton on social, but uh, the Storm and Mormon, Derek Ryan, King of the Fourth Line, Legend of the Bottom Six. QF Pro Twenty One on Twitter says, "I love it. Had him at under a million bucks to resign for all my calculations. Nine hundred for two thousand for uh, nine hundred thousand for two years equals two cups for Dr. You got to love yeah, to see that. That's a lot two cups amazing. for Derek Ryan coming down the pipe." Come on, Waz. We're excited. How, how do you think Derek Ryan's celebrating? You know, what What do you think he's up to? Mm. Does he have kids? I think he has kids. He's, right? I think he's got two kids, actually, and two dogs. Okay. I don't wait too, I wait, no, no wait too much about this, man. So what I'm thinking is he's got two kids, two dogs. It's a Tuesday. You know, the sun is shining probably wherever Derek Ryan is. He's probably got a big smile on his face. This is what I'm thinking. Maybe a nice family dinner. Yeah. Go somewhere nice. You could take the kids out. They'll have something they like on the menu. The wife will be happy. Maybe a nice glass of wine. Dress up a little bit. Not too fancy. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to mention, actually, to bring that up. I love his outfits. Uh, when the Oilers take photos, I love his Peaky Blinders fit. Yes, he does look like yeah. very Peaky Blinders with the little uh, newsboy cap yeah. that he wears. No, I like it. I agree. I'm with you, Waz. What, how do you think he's celebrating today? Uh, probably like just a nice family dinner. Maybe not at a restaurant, you know. Uh, he's probably got a very nice house. I imagine how much he's making, right? So just maybe like on, on an acreage or something. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. You know what? I bet he looks great. I bet he's happy. I bet he's smiling. They're cheersing a nice glass of red wine to celebrate the day. And Waz and I are celebrating too. Yes. Derek Ryan, two-year contract extension. Again, worth a $900,000 cap hit. That's casual, Waz. Yeah. That's a nice little, uh, nice little piece of business for Ken Holland on, is it a game day today? It is, yeah. Might as well say it. Are we ending tonight, Waz, or we got one more in us? Uh, I hope one more. I hope one more. And I hope it ends, just so we can get to some of the rumors and some of the silly season festivities mm -hmm. that I so very much look forward to at this time of the year. For Trilogy Oilfield Rentals, Waz, thank you for joining me on the Derek Ryan 
Love it. Reaction episode of Better Late Than Never.